Welcome ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Tank Browser 135th scale German armor. My name is Kai and this is a vlog style video with a little bit lower production quality than usual because I am just I just moved into my new apartment and start to get settled in. And a lot of upgrades were made nevertheless. But now let's get started. This video is all about the Tiger tanks designed by Ferdinand Porsche. I will walk you through every single model kit that is available to build the Tiger tank with the turret. In case you're not familiar with the Tiger tank, to your left you see the one designed by Porsche and this one is the more familiar version designed by Henschel together with the HWA, the Heereswaffenamt. Development on the Tiger tank started actually in 1937 with the DW, aka Durchbruchswagen, that's a breakthrough vehicle. It was developed further into the VK3001, that's a 30 ton class vehicle. This is actually the point where Porsche was called into the design competition in order to give the Heereswaffenamt or the Army Ordnance Department the opportunity to choose between the best submitted vehicle, the best submitted design and you know, end up with the best product the money can buy. On the left side, this is the VK3001 done by Porsche. Porsche got the contract in December 1939 and yeah, about two years later the vehicle was already finished for trial and testing. The contract was about six vehicles to be built. Actually two were done, two were built. The first one in February 1942 for its first demonstration and the second test and trial chassis was finished in March. None of these vehicles had a turret issued. On some Porsche drawings we actually find a turret, but in the history Krupp came up. Krupp is a large steelworks and weapon manufacturer here in central Germany. They designed the turret as we know it from the Tiger 1 as well as the Tiger 2 and many other vehicles all around and how it was mixed up these two designs. The kit I'm speaking of is actually the serial number 83891, that's a 2018 mold and that's the vehicle I did build here together with a 3D printed resin conversion for the complete upper deck included in the turret simulation weight. It's freely available on my Patreon page since I've already uploaded it before to Thingiverse under the share alike license. A few words about the Hobby Boss kit. It's actually fun to build and the overall dimensions are not off or not too far off. The information of course is a little bit scarce about this vehicle so there is uh, rivet counting is not really making too much sense. Only the tracks gave me a hard time and uh, maybe are necessary to be replaced with a 3D printed version as well someone sometime later down the road. Otherwise it's a medium to lower medium tier kit with an actual low part count and it goes together really well. It has texture, photo edge is, I can't recall if photo edge is included. Just have a look at my video. I think it was included. I'm sorry. Now before this vehicle was even finished the complete stuff changed and a heavier vehicle was requested instead. This is when the VK4501 was born. It was first mentioned in July 1941. There was a meeting and subsequently the entry in the diary of the chief engineer is giving us the actual date or trying to date back when the contract was given to them. You guys know a little bit about this vehicle, especially if you follow my channel. This one is actually the Itallery kit. I built one of, did build one of my first models ever. What we actually should know about this vehicle is there was a total of 100 chassis was built and not all of them did make it in a tank. 
The first five tanks looked a little bit different. The second three to four had already these um, wider fenders and the wider tracks. This is the Itellery kit, the Rebox from 2019. It goes back to a mold from 1994. And it has a lot of problems because it was based on outdated information when the mold was made and the overall accuracy is pretty poor. Itellery has always the problems with their Tiger turrets being symmetrical. You see this is a symmetrical shape. That's actually wrong. I can show you the Hobby Boss turret. That's not quite symmetrical. The one side is on a steeper angle than the other. And that's how it should be. Nevertheless, on the Hobby Boss one, the turret ring is off as well. The other main issue with the Itellery kit are the tracks. These are late type elephant tracks on the outside. And on the inside, it has a guide horn on each link. This would be actually correct for some of these vehicles during the production stage or the threat development stage. The first of these Tiger piece was finished in April 1942 with a very <laughs> fastly quick and dirty rig up of a prototype for a demonstration on a birthday. There are three different types of these vehicles, or actually four. That's the Type 101. That's the one you see in front. It has a petrol electric drive. There's a Type 102 with a petrol hydraulic drive, a type 103, it's petrol electric again, but has a different style of airflow, it was a little bit changed in the rear, and there's a type 130 that was actually not really built, but was constructed. Constructed was the idea of using a water cooled engine. Now, it would be easy to say the Itellery kit is something to not build, but it's fairly priced and actually it goes together well. Low part count again and rubber tracks. Some of you guys are quite happy with this and I won't charge. There is a newer mold by Amusing Hobby. This is Amusing Hobby 35A023. That's a 2018 mold. It comes with wrong decals. That's actually a strength of the Itellery kit. This one, the three box, it has the correct type of decals included. Now back to the Amusing Hobby one. More thought was taken into the mold making design and we can actually spot they <laughs> looked at some of the existing pictures. However, they did not have the good book available that came out in 2019, 2020. So the information is already a little bit outdated as well. I have not yet built an amusing hobby Tiger P, so I can't tell you too much about it. I, all I can tell you is it has single link workable tracks that actually don't look too bad and the whole shape is more correct compared to what Itellery made. But it is based on Panzer tracks drawing. They are obsolete some of them by now, since we have new photographs. Most of the rest is now up to the standard where we can call it actually a nice looking model kit. I'm really looking forward to build one of the amusing hobby ones. Only real weakness of this kit is you will get a sheet of very generic decals we can't use for a very accurate build. Both the Itellery one and the Amusing Hobby one has one have one thing in common. They represent one of four vehicles that were used during troop training in Dollersheim with the Abteilung 503 or in Kummersdorf 1942 in August. The end of November there was a test and trial going on when this vehicle was compared against the Henschel Tiger. And it turned out to be the inferior design and therefore the project was cancelled. Out of the 100 chassis, actually about 10 were in various stages of completion. Some were prototypes, early prototypes, some were now the later prototypes we can build here. 
and some were nothing more than a collection of parts. <laughs> now I've actually to engage a little bit into myth busting. Public knowledge is the after the contract was lost, the whole vehicle was turned into a Sturmgeschütz, what we know as the Ferdinand or Elephant. That's this one. 90 were built of them. But actually this whole development goes already back to September 1942 when Elcat was contracted to convert some of the production series Porsche Tracker tanks into Sturmgeschütze. They were meant to be made aside of the usual tanks with the turret. Now it was quite clear or the obvious thing to do with no tanks being made to build a whole lot of 90 remaining chassis into these Sturmgeschütze. I would prefer not to branch off into the Ferdinand and Elephant tank hunter for now because there was a lot of 90 built used in two battalions and the later appearance had simmered, there were modifications going on and I would like to talk about this in a separate video giving you guys really good information about how these vehicles looked when they were used from early 1933 up to 1945. For us it's now important to note we have 100 chassis to begin with. Two were used up as ballistic testing vehicles. The other 90 went into this, leaving us with eight. There was one more. The first one was a pre-series vehicle made by Alcat, not by the Nibelungenwerk. And that one has to be subtracted as well. So we are off with seven of them. Now progressing in the timeline into 1943, January, under the impression of the urban warfare going on in Stalingrad, the request came up to a vehicle that would be capable of urban warfare and being optimized for running down barriers and buildings and stuff like this. So the idea of the Ram Tiger was born. This is a new 2021 release by Das Werk. They teamed up with Amusing Hobby again. So we have the sh same chassis I showed you before without a turret but with the ram hood attached on top of it. I was really looking forward to build this model, convert it out of the Tellery one I showed you earlier. Now it's available with the injection molded ram hood. Okay, actually, not a single one of them were really made or came into reality. First of all, the German industry had other things to do and construction engineers can be, God, why it's me, it's Friday. So none of these were actually built. Stalingrad was already lost at that time, so there was not actually a need. There's one photograph around that's proven to be fake. And since we know where these vehicles were distributed, I can assure you that not a single one was built. But <laughs> I don't want to rub you or steal you of your fun building this vehicle in the way you like. So when we actually go back in from 1945 and look back where all the vehicles went, a few went missing. So it could actually be, if you want it to be, that one of these were converted. There's our, but there's no real evidence of it. Moving on into August 1943, what you can see here is the Berge Tiger, the recovery tiger. These were actually converted from previous prototypes of the VK4501 and the literature is about three to five of them being made. Three are indicated and five are still plausible. I will tell you why, because three of them were present in September 1943 within the Schwere Panzerjägerabteilung 653. It's the heavy tank destroyer battalion. These are the Ferdinand guys we will get to know when it's actually time to speak about the Ferdinands. So of these three, two came back for rework by the end of 1943 and a fourth one was already converted and sent out to Italy with the first company of the 653 in early 1944. 
two went back to Russia together with the second and third company in April and in July two more recovery elephant by then, they were called elephant with a simurate on them, were lost in Russia together with the next vehicle I come to. In August 44, one came back from Italy, so we are actually missing a fate of the first Italian one as well as the fifth vehicle in general. So it could be, it could be either these were not documented in the end by the end of the war or 1944 or they were used up otherwise or they got even a ram hood would be plausible but unlikely as i said okay now let's look into what we can actually build there are two kits available the first one dragon 6226 that's a mold from 2006 that's the kit in front of you. I've already built one and I do own a second one to build this vehicle in its later appearance. It can build both the early and the late one, but it comes with the S-Tracks and is missing Simurit if you want to build the late one. If you want to build the early one, you would actually need the Ferdinand tracks for the prototype vehicle I did build here for the usual combat used vehicles, the elephant tracks are fine. But there is another choice, an even better choice is Dragon 6869. I come to this in a second because we can now move on into the last vehicle and that would be the only Porsche Tiger that was actually used in active combat as a tank, not a tank hunter. I did already build the chassis. This is Dragon 6210 from 2004. And as I said, it's a white at all cost. It has the wrong type of turret. This vehicle was equipped with an early style turret, a very early serial number. It was serial number 14, but it had already the escape hatch present. When we look real short at a initial Tiger, there should have been an escape hatch on this side. They were not present on the very early ones. Dragon did not pick this up. They do not include Simurit, of course, for this vehicle, but it actually needs Simurit. The front of the attack Simurit replacement, that would be attack 35029, is to avoid as well because yeah, front is inaccurate and it does not fix the turret problem. So we would have to step up with the attack simurit for the successor of this kit and then it doesn't fit very well or you have to use the 3d printer to make it fit this brings me into a better choice for a kit this would be dragon 6352 that's a premium kit from 2006 together with the attack simurit with a serial number 35037 the dragon one here comes with magic tracks has more photo edge parts included. Look, this one doesn't even have photo edge included. That's another problem I forgot to mention. Would be the better choice. The best choice, however, is the 2019 release of Dragon 6869. That's a two-in-one kit. It can be the reco build the recovery one as well as the command vehicle and it can be built with and without Simurit. So this would make it the best choice. However, it comes again with the Astrax. So there is uh, one death to die. History-wise, this vehicle is a Type 102. So it has a petrol hydraulic drive. It was used for testing, pulling weights, pulling other Ferdinands at Kummersdorf in the testing ground for pretty long actually, till August 1943. And then it was converted and then it was sent out in May 1944 together with two Berge Ferdinand. It was already lost in July 1944 in Russia. We have a few images when it was railway loaded and tested, but other than this there is not all too much known about it. It has some interesting unique features. I will go about uh, I will go over them 
when it's time to do the build video. To wrap this video up real quickly, I would like to talk about literature. I used these two books. The first about, is about the Ferdinand by Michael Fröhlich, that's a German book. They are pretty new, 2019-2020, as well as Der andere Tiger, translated it would, and it's only available in German again. Both books are by Michael Fröhlich, and as far as I can tell, this, the other tiger here, it contains all the images known of these vehicles, at least known to me, and I am following this vehicle quite a long time. Now, so it can be worth it for the pictures only, or if you want to dive deep with a translation app. Okay, guys, this is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'm finishing my setup here, trying to fight the reverb and standing audio waves here in my really large room now. And I'm looking forward to see you guys already next week with a product review. And then we are back to the usual schedule. See you guys, stay safe and build something.